Invico Technologies is looking to make conservation easy. We're trying to do that by making cost-effective, scalable tools that people can use to control pests in forests and regrow forests at an accelerated rate. So we're trying to protect, um, conserve and grow our forests and our biodiversity and we hope that that will help build people's livelihoods and reconnect them with the land as well. So my background was in drones. I used to be a commercial drone pilot for a long time before I started up Invico Technologies, my business partner. I was very heavily on the operational side and this aspect took me out of my comfort zone, which was just operations, flying drones, steered me to a different direction, which was how does that technology actually help and create impact, which is yeah where I find myself now. So Inveco Technologies was founded four years ago and we set out to do services using drones to help with conservation efforts. We came back to New Zealand after the first job and realised that there was a huge, uh, I guess, gap in technology within the conservation space. And we set out since then to try and help fill it. When we talk about our technology, we look at conservation technology that helps eradicate pest species. So automated devices that can be left out in the field for 12 months where you don't have to go and look for them or interact with them. Remote sensing options to try and track down pests as well as looking at different formulations for toxins and different seed pods that can help grow forests or eradicate more pests. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to get into the conservation space. I think once you've got the bug, you've got the bug. <laughs> and you can see the impact that you can have. When you start to apply the technology aspect to it, you can see that that impact has a scale of magnitude added on top of it. And you can just start looking around to see where else you can help and what you can build to help it. So Callahan Innovation um, has helped a lot with um, providing uh, internships, so students, which has helped our staff grow just as much as we've tried to help students grow, as well as PhD um, grants, which has helped us understand some more of the technology that we're looking to try and develop, right through to capability project grants, which has actually helped us fund directly the development of some of our heavy lift drones. What's on the horizon for us is to um, scale our products internationally because that would mean that our um, products are having impact in conservation and will have a direct impact in climate change. So we hope that we do well in New Zealand so that we can do well internationally as well. As a Māori innovator, um, I think it's helped us take a look at what we value within our culture and help promote that internationally so we can help other Indigenous cultures use and create impact with our tools as well. It helps build long-term focus and an integrated focus within the community. So we can steer past, I guess, the next 20 years of what profit our company can bring um, to its shareholders, to what purposeful impact it can create on the environment, which in turn will have a longer term impact on health benefits to people that um, interact with the forest or connect with the forest. So it's trying to look at a multi-generational impact of what your technology can do in the long run, and then trying to share that technology out to communities that aren't just in New Zealand, aren't just Māori, but indigenous communities all over the world. So I think that's really helped kind of ground what our company does and what I'll um, and I guess promote what the aspirations of our company hope to do. I think having freedom to create your own ideas and really run with them and then collaborate with people that also have really good ideas and see them through. I feel like being a business owner, having our own business allows you that freedom. Which I find is, is great. My advice for anybody that's looking to start their own business is to start. You will have the journey of your life and you'll learn every single day and there'll be failures and successes. Um, you just got to take it all within your stride, but keep going and there's plenty of support out there. I think it's really great if people can create their own sector within a business. Like if you look at your drop down box on a, on a where do you fit um, menu as a business, if you can create your own sector, if it doesn't exist, then you're doing a good job.